This is one of my most sacred, quiet places. Every place is quiet. You'll see after this, I'm down at the river, even though the river makes noise, it's still natural. And there's still a quiet. And the quiet is everywhere. You can actually still hear an airplane echoing through the canyon here, off in the distance. But there's something about the rock. This is the rock that I have in all of my circles. All of my circles have this white rock. All of the circles have a an energy which you can sort of test people, muscle test them. And this rock easily absorbs it and seems to retain it indefinitely. And the most prominent word that comes to me here is peace. It's on such a deep, profound level. I mean, everything's vibration, but, and obviously the white has its own particular vibration, but they call this area, it's all part of what they call skeleton bone. And the wind, just as everywhere, brings its own holy being sacredness. But So the same elements that are in every place are here. But there's something deeper here. That goes to the very essence of what these sacred places are all about. Because when I come here, it's almost, it's, it's so effortless just to sit back in the quiet that you are. The, the resonance of the flow the being that permeates the whole web of life throughout the whole universe. So subtle yet so very profoundly present here. And that to me is, that's the gift of our special places. That's the gift of the earth itself, it's always right there beneath us. But sometimes in our effort to survive, we polarize up thinking that somehow heaven in another place besides this earth is safer. beautiful. So this bone rock. Medicine men, when they oftentimes are going to pray to, when they're praying to heal someone, they pray to become a hollow bone. Your bones, if you were to weigh a bone the same size as uh, your liver or kidney, the organ would be much heavier than your bone. So bones are not heavy, very light, but they're so strong. 
the bones in a way are the deepest internal physical structure in your body. The bones survive after you die unless you're burned. For hundreds and thousands of years. And they can eventually be entered by minerals and become rock. So your bones, they kind of resonate with the ancient history of the earth. This is all around me. Sediment that started on the bottom of the ocean 300 million years ago, washed away, and this was the bottom of a lake. And for some reason, the white bone shell coral got broken apart and mixed up. And in some of these layers, it's pure white bone. And that bone, bone, just the word bone, bone, bone. This bone, it resonates with my bone. Some people believe that your bones carry the highest spiritual frequency in your body. Your bones are electricity. They, you can use electricity to heal your bones. And the white, the white's quiet, the white's soft. The white still. We always, we frequently use the, the terms white light, and white is a very highly spiritual color. A lot of your spiritual teachers wear white. I wore white today just to, to be with the white. And other colors like red. Red can feel very stimulating to us. It's energizing and it, it connects up with your root chakra. So it's invigorating. And so it can be much less subtle in its glamour and energizing. But perhaps more superficial. And there, that's why I feel that there's something deeply Profound. I cannot tell you what it, it is in its vibration. It's beyond what we can label as energies and vibrations. But it so easily permeates you here. And even though you might not have a white rock area to go to, there are areas that will speak to you. As children, we, will, we would go to special places that we liked, just naturally gravitating toward them. So no matter where you live, find those places. It's so easy just to be the presence. be taking you to a place by the water. It's very different. Although this place actually has water that flows through it. That's what smoothed out all this rock. So there is a, a quality of water here, even though you can't see it. You can feel it.
They all are there to help us. They are all within us. They speak to what's within us. just by being quiet, just in my own resonance of peace and quiet, that's my thank you. I don't have to perform a ceremony or anything here. Because we, we each give that verse list to, to, to one another. What it gives to me, I give back. Just in how I am here. I am. I am here. 